Hello guys, so for today's video is I will show you kung paano improve ang sound ng mga cheap condenser microphones ninyo especially sa BM800 Alright, so let's get started Okay, so for me, sanay na ako mag-mix ng mga naka-BM800 uh, lang. Just like itong sa Proud DC na track na Deferencia. Kasi we recorded it in a room that is not treated with acoustics. As in pure concrete walls lang siya. And no pop filter pa yung microphone. Just the mic cover lang. Pero naging decent naman yung uh, kinalabasan. Tawag nila sa amin ni so I have 5 tips that will make your cheap microphone sound better. First is eliminate background noise. So what this means is during sa recording ng vocals, just simply i-turn off mo lang anything na medyo nag-recreate ng noise sa room. Just like the aircon or the uh, electric fan. In this way, it will lessen yung noise problem mo if imimix mo na siya after. Just remember na distracting pakinggan ng background noise sa ears ng mga audience. Especially if they will listen to it sa earphones nila. So make sure na i-eliminate natin yung background noise. So number two, keep your microphone facing away from any source of the noise. Another issue is some people ay nagre-record ng vocals nang naka-face sila sa mga nag-recreate ng noise. So ang tendency nito is makakapture yun ng mic mo especially sa mga cheap condenser mics. So always be in mind na dapat nasa likod lang ng mic mo yung mga nag-generate ng noise. Number 3, maintain a few inches between your microphone and your mouth. So this tip number 3 is for those na naka-condenser mics kasi if dynamic ang gamit mo, syempre, mas better yung sound if very close yung mouth mo sa mga dynamic mics. Medyo sensitive kasi ang mga condenser mics kaya pag medyo malapit ka naman dito, it will create a bunch of uh, low end sa voice mo during sa recording. Also, it will result sa pagkakreate ng distortion and clipping. And if medyo malayo ka naman sa mic, it will make you na parang echoey and tinny. So the ideal placement distance ng mouth mo away from the mic when recording is 6 to 10 inches. Doing this will make your voice sound crisp and natural. Number 4. While recording, do not move around too much. Meaning nito is i-avoid ninyo yung masyadong magalaw kapag uh, nagre-record ng vocals. Especially pag nagre-record kayo ng hip-hop verses. Siyempre hip-hop hype yung artist kaya medyo magalaw and I suggest na ilesen lang yung movements while recording and I also suggest na dapat na memorize mo na yung uh, mga verses mo during or before recording kasi may tendency na hindi nakakapture yung uh, voice mo kasi wala siya sa right side of the microphone if lagi kang tingin ng tingin sa lyrics mo na nasa phone mo or sa papel much better if you would memorize it before recording para mas feel mo yung lyrics. Number 5. Fixing it in post. So regardless of how cheap your mic is, we are in the era of modern recording naman. So meaning, it can be turned into something great with enough effort syempre. So in our case na naka BM800 or any brand ng mga cheap mics, the result could be very noisy and medyo harsh or brittle yung tunog. Fortunately, pwede natin to ayusin using EQ if you know what you're doing. Just like itong vocals. Add lang tayo ng high pass filter to eliminate yung boxiness. Or if merong hiss yung vocal ninyo, you can add on top of the EQ with a noise cancellation plugin. For me, I like to use NS1. Just uh, 10 to 20% lang to minimize the noise or hiss. Next is let's sweep the harsh frequencies. So basically, this is just sweeping and cutting down sa mga areas na merong annoying frequency. Tama yung hinalam mo appear. Mas maganda kung mag-disappear ka. Kung di nyo mag-get si Gales. Kung di nyo wakse pake namin par. Tawag nila sa amin ay blue. 
Next is to give it a decent compression just like this. Now if medyo harsh naman yung mga SS, just insert a deesser. For this, just a simple deessing lang. So if meron ka pang budget, you can use Slate Digital VMS. This is to emulate the sound of some expensive mics. And you can use also Isotope RX to clean easily yung background noise ng vocals. Just like this. So that is basically it guys, kung paano ba i-improve yung sound ng mga cheap mics natin. I do hope meron kayong natutunan dito sa video. And if you love this video, please leave a like and subscribe ka na rin sa channel ko for more mixing tutorials. So thanks for watching guys. Happy mixing. See you all again next time and bye-bye.